Hello everyone, my name is Emily Catherine Stewart and I'm going to be applying for the Disney College Program Fall of 2023. Today is January 22nd, which means the applications open tomorrow. I'm so excited. Today I'm just, just going to tell you how I've been preparing for applying for the Disney College Program, what I've been doing. So today I have been, of course, watching all the YouTube videos to prepare myself for the application tomorrow. And I have been working up on my resume because that is a vital part of the application process. Um, so for those of you who don't know, the application process is just a get to know me, what I've done in the past, my work experience, my college GPA, everything that Disney needs to know to hire you. I have also been making sure to include the five keywords which I've heard is very helpful in including in your resume and in your application. Those keywords are show, courtesy, inclusion, safety, and efficiency. So I've been making sure to plug those in into some of my work experience and into my resume anywhere that it will fit so that when they are looking at my application and my resume that they can see those words and they can see that I am fit to work in Disney World. So I've made sure to put those scattered throughout my resume and I will make sure to put that on my application as well. So I'm going to vlog this whole process but I just wanted to open up this video and tell you how I've been preparing. I'm so excited. I don't, we're not sure what time the applications open tomorrow but uh, I'm student teaching right now so I'll probably have to wait until after school is over and then I have chapter for my sorority so I'll have to apply probably after supper which makes me so anxious because I'll be wanting to apply all day long but I have to stay off my computer and teach all day tomorrow so I'm excited about that but I'm anxious about the applications but anyways yeah that's all I've been doing today to prepare myself I'm super super excited I've been waiting on this for forever it feels like and it's finally here and I'm more excited than nervous but I'm ready for it to just start but I will see you tomorrow when I'm applying for the Disney College program hey guys it is Monday January 23rd which means applications open this morning I'm so excited I've been student teaching all day the applications opened up at like 9 to 10 a.m. and I wasn't able to apply right when they opened and it made me so anxious because everyone was applying and everyone was texting that they got their web-based interview but it's fine I had to wait until I was done student teaching and I was done with my chapter for my sorority but now it is 7 30 and it's time for me to sit down and apply I have it pulled up right here I'm so excited um, I've been preparing myself by listening to all of the Disney music that I love today so now it's time to just apply. Wish me luck. So I just finished my application. I just submitted it. And it was just like I thought. It was job experience, your name, all your legal information. So um, you did not have to submit a resume like I thought, which I spent like two hours on last night, but it was fun. But anyway, but it was nice to have all my job experience listed out and like what needed to go under it to describe what I did. So that was nice to have. But now I'm just going to wait and see if I got a web-based interview. People have been saying all day that they've been getting theirs within like 10 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour or so. So now it's just a waiting game. I'm going to be refreshing my email for the next hour or so until I get an email. But um, if you're wondering, I'm in my apartment complex in the bottom floor because I live with four roommates and did not want to be caught vlogging. But anyway, but it is quiet down here and I was glad that I was down here. Just in case you're wondering, it took me about 30 minutes to fill out the application and put everything in the boxes and stuff. Um, it says it should take around 10 to 15 minutes, but of course I had to call my mom and make sure everything was right because I can't do anything by myself. But it took me about 30 minutes. Um, I just had to double check everything 400 times because I'm so anxious and wanted everything to be perfect. But um, yeah, if you wanted to know how long you need to set a time aside for to apply for the application part, just I would say around 30, 45 minutes. It's probably way too long. Probably no one takes that long anyway, but that's how long I took because I'm a perfectionist and need everything to be perfect because I want this so bad. But um, I will keep you guys updated on if I get the email to get a web-based interview. So this says, in consideration, I have literally refreshed this probably 15 times since I've been up here and I've been up here for maybe five minutes. So I'm gonna take a shower. 
I'm not going to look at my phone or my computer. I've got the email that says thank you for applying. So I'm just going to take a shower, leave my phone in here, leave my computer in here. Wait. Where did that go? Nice interview. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I have to decide if I'm gonna take a shower or go do this right now. I think I'm gonna take a shower, get all these nerves out, and then take it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, 72 hours to open it and complete it. My roommates are in there and I don't want to be too loud, but yay! Okay, I just got out of the shower and I'm about to take my WBI. I have calmed myself. I was shaking at first, but now I think I'm calm and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to click here to begin. All right, I will let you know how it goes. Congratulations, you'll be contacted with next steps. Okay, so now I get the phone interview. I'm so excited. So the web-based interview was kind of long. I didn't think it was going to be that long. A lot of people said it was going to be like five minutes, but it was a lot longer than that. It took me maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't know. But it was basically all the same questions just over and over again, just making sure that you put the same answer for everything and you were consistent with your answers. It was just like how you would like working with people, how you would deal with difficult situations, uh, living with people, just stuff like that. So, I just put everything that Disney would want me to say. So, I got the phone interview, and now I gotta figure out my scheduling, and I will tell you what time it is. So, I scheduled my phone interview. It is for Tuesday the 7th. Of February and today is January 23rd so that means that it is two weeks from tomorrow um, I'll be watching every single video that I can find on YouTube about the phone interview and write down every single question that could possibly be asked so I can write it down and have that prepared for my phone interview but it gave me the option to do February 6th 7th 8th 9th or 10th which was Monday through Friday because you had to do a week after you got the email to do the phone interview so it gave me those dates four o'clock was the latest time that you could you could possibly have so I'm just gonna have to sprint back to my grandma's house and um, take this phone interview but at least I'll be ready and dressed and I'll be energized from the day hopefully <laughs> I won't sleep a link a wink <laughs> I won't sleep a wink that night, but I am beyond excited. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I just, I can't even believe it. Like, so I will let y'all know what I did to prepare myself and I will keep you updated on my phone interview. But for now, I just have to wait until the 7th, but I'm so excited. And yeah i'll let you know it is february 5th 2023 which means i have two more days until my phone interview i am so excited i've been preparing all day i haven't updated y'all in a couple weeks i've just been really busy with school and teaching and all that but i finally got to sit down today and work on the questions and answers that i would give if they asked me any type of question i've looked up so many different articles on the internet that have given me possible questions that they could ask i have looked up every role question possible so I can be prepared for any question that they throw at me. I'm in a Snapchat group, I'm in a group me, and everyone has already had their phone interview and it's making me so nervous, but also I was glad that I had mine kind of late because I got to see what everybody else's was like. So if you could schedule a little later so you can see what everybody else has been saying, I would recommend that because it kind of settled my nerves a little bit so I knew like what kind of questions they would be asking and what some good answers would be. It gave me time to think about the answers that I could say. So I would definitely recommend doing it a little later, giving you time to prepare and hearing everything that people had to say. But today I've just been preparing, typing out my answers that I would give. And I have 11 pages 
of questions and answers, but I just wanted to be prepared. My dad told me that I studied harder than harder for this than I have for any test in college, which is probably true, but I want this so bad and I want to be prepared for anything that they ask me. I know waves could be this week, it could happen next week, it could happen in a month. Who knows? Nobody knows. But I would definitely recommend having all of the recruiters post notifications on, on Twitter because they always post when there's going to be a wave going out. They, but recruiter Christy is the queen and I've been having her post notifications on for a while so I know that she's going to be on top of her game posting everything about it so my screen time will definitely be going up this week on my phone and my computer but I have to remember that I have a life and I've got to go on with my life and when that email comes I will look at it but it's not going to come with me sitting there watching it but I'm sure that that's what I'm going to be doing but I have to teach 25 first graders all day long so I can't be sitting at my computer all day looking at it but anyway I just want to give y'all an update because I haven't updated y'all in a while I'm so tired. Excuse my appearance. I know I look crazy, but I have been literally just sitting here working on this for all day long, watching Disney movies, listening to Deep Park Radio, getting my mind set. So, I'm in the Disney spirit. I told my mom I've got all my assignments work done for this week, and Disney is the priority this week. So, not like it's not the priority every week, but... It's my main, main, main priority this week. Disney movies on repeat, listening to Deep Park Radio, which, if you didn't know, is a radio station that you can get on your phone or on your computer, and it just plays all the park music. It'll play, like, the monorail. It'll play all the shows. It's really cool, and it's really fun to listen to, just to have one in the background. Also, Sorcerer's Radio does the same thing, and you can do that on your phone and on your computer, too. And I always like to have that going in the background. I was just going to update y'all a little bit before I come back for my phone interview. Yay! I'm so excited. Wish me luck. Good morning, you guys. Today is the day. It's currently 6.48 in the morning and I'm heading to school. Um, I've been up since about 5.20 this morning. So I am wide awake, ready to go. I listened to my Deep Park radio this morning, my Sorcerer's radio, getting me in the mood to kill this interview today. Um, I have done my devotion. I have done my morning prayer. So I am ready to go. I am about 10 minutes away from school now. Um, and I'm going to stop and get myself a nutrition tea today because I think that I deserve that today. I did not start off my morning with a Diet Coke, so I am in dire need of some caffeine. So I will be heading to the nutrition shop near my school to get one. If anyone cares to know, I get the Kim K. It's a beauty tea. It has collagen in it, and it's just the best flavor ever, so I suggest that you go get it not sponsored by the way but anyway I'm about to go get a tea and go to school and teach these little kiddos um so yeah I will see y'all in like eight hours I was just gonna show you my setup this is my computer it has this document that has all my answers on it I'm just looking over that right now um, on my computer today I put this to remember to smile and that's just a little sticker of Mickey and Minnie just to calm my nerves a little bit to see my little pals and then I put do your best they love you for you just to remember that you can be you and they're gonna love you for that I have my dr. pepper of course and my my computers plugged in my phone is plugged in my airpods are plugged in and i'm about to cut on some worship music and get jesus through my blood so he will help me on this interview but hello hi okay a lot of waves just came out and oh my god i see an email a lot of people got accepted. I'm gonna look at my. I 
I had to take my watch off because everyone was talking about it in a group message. Oh my gosh. It is Thursday, February 9th. I had my interview Tuesday. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I walked in from school and my roommates decorated my room for me. Look how pretty. Look how sweet. The balloons and everything. They're the best. Say hey to the vlog. That's Emily. Hello. And Meredith! <laughs> they did such a good job. <laughs> and this present is some champagne and some nerd clusters and mini Starbursts. They did so good. My other sweet roommates got me this. They're Minnie and Mickey wine glasses. Some wine. And this little note. This Anna Grace and Brooks. <laughs> Say hey! hey. <laughs> They're the best. Get you some roommates like them. Now we're gonna go eat to celebrate. So I came home this weekend and look what my sweet mama did for me. Say hello, mom. Hello. <laughs> we have the, okay, the balloons look a little deflated because I forgot to film it when I came home, but look how sweet. The congrats with the little crowns. And the balloons, I'll insert a picture when I came home. But it's so sweet. And she made a cookie cake that's almost half eaten. But look how sweet. And she the best. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. And she even got me these little plates. Ariel's my favorite. And Kendall's favorite is Jasmine. But the napkins and the plates just were the best. And this is my room. We have this little poster that mom got in a Happy Meal. <laughs> Some streamers. I'm gonna introduce my dad to the vlog. Dad, say hi. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and say this. The main thing I need my daughter to do at Disney World is make Donald the central <laughs> character. He is the funniest. He is the best looking. He has the best friends. He has the cutest girlfriend. And we still, all we want to do is praise the mouse. <laughs> Come on, guys. Ducks are better than mice. <laughs> so, with that being said, I think I'm going to close out today's video. This is my sister, Kendall. Say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> She's sick, so ignore her appearance with her off-brand Stanley Cup. Stanley Do. Anyway. Um, Emily Enchanted. Do. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Okay, so I hope you follow along with all of my Disney College program adventures. I am very excited to go on this journey, and I hope that you follow along with me. Bye.